Let's uh, say that again, Paul, for the uh, for the video. <coughs> yeah, well, we're, doing, we're sort of gradually sinking down here. Um, so my confidence level is not as high as it was earlier when we were quite low and fast. Yeah. You were a bit worried, but I was really confident that the rig was going to work all right. Now it's actually going a little bit soft. And we're sort of struggling to stay at 800 feet. So we're just heading now, uh, for the sake of the video, uh, to Duncton Corner from the west. And having just been scrabbling around on that bit of ridge, we got a little bit low. The ridge went a bit soft. Um, so we want a thousand to get around this corner to get back into Big Nabal because we're not expecting any lift on the way there. If anything, a bit of curl over uh, from the uh, easterly facing bit of ridge running down from Duncton Corner down to the mast of Bigna. So we've got about 9.50 at the moment and we're just thinking about whether we're going to go for it. Oh, yeah, we're going to go for it. Good air here. Very good air. Let's follow this spur. Good air. And then put a bit of speed on prior to hitting the sink for bad air. We don't want to be going too fast down here because although it'll be bad air, we are downwind. So, All right. yep, 70. I know the big revolver but it's no good. So I just say we're staying out here from the easterly facing bit of ridge because that's just going to have horrible curl over on it. And um, hoping we don't lose too much height. Before we hit big revolver, just had a nice nice surge which has made it a bit more relaxing as we approach the bowl. Don't forget you've got a lot of ground speed here, 70 knots plus 15, 20 knots on the, no on the tail. Yeah. So tell, turn nice and early. Yeah, good point. Don't get blown into the very, trees. very good point. Yeah. Yeah, as it is, that was just about right, wasn't it? Yeah. Felt like we were turning quite early, but it'd be horrible to have a glider with a lower roll rate and turn and just leave it too late and be able to do nothing about it. Mm. Okay, 700 feet. So we possibly would have been alright first time round, but you know, possibly not. Piers is quite low. So Piers is going to be joining us in this goal again. Yeah. Uh, he's someone with balls of steel. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Push 
Ahoj. 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 So we're looking for, we've got to go into wind uh, to cross the uh, gap across the, the uh, River Arrow and the uh, Amberley Gap. Well, we're we've, no, we're tailwind. We've got tailwind, so of course we have, we've got tailwind, yeah, so, we're, so we're, that's fine. So what do we want, 1100 feet ideally? No, I don't need that much. 1000? 1000. Okay. Uh, just got Piercy yeah. down here. Well, we're climbing well out here, so yeah, we got 950. Yeah, if, we were, up, um, if we were like we were a second ago, with a bit of a shit climb rate, petering off, I think I'd be tempted to go now. Right. But we're climbing well, so we might as well make the most of it. So I'll give it another Suck go. it up. We've decided we're going. What we're going to do is follow this spur. Where I've got a tailwind, so I can go. I'm going to afford to go nice and slow here, and then just sort of dolphin up a bit. Just pull in the surges. Have a little snifty down this bit of ridge, just out of interest, really. So this is the to build up the database. This is the Berry Bowls or Berry Hill. Let's see if these are doing that. Doing something. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So if we we're doing multiple laps, that could be quite useful information. Mm. Not epic. Hanging in there in that. You want a flight, mate? Yep. You we're have. going. We're going across now. You have? Yeah, I got. I have. So I'd say nice and slow, 50 knots. Okay. We've got the tailwind up our shaft. Quite a bit, nice and slow. And then 60, 60 feet up. The, so 10 knots either side. Can't go much slower than 50, but 60 if you feel sink. I'm happy we did the right thing there. We had 800 yeah. feet going around the corner. Yeah. So I'm happy we did the right thing turning back there. Yeah. How do you feel? Happy with this? Yeah. 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 It's all right, mate. Feels very comfortable. Yeah. Good. Yeah. On a really good day, I'd fly halfway along the ridge, the ridge top right, and then pull up. On an iffy day, we just want to be poodling along this bit of ridge, getting as high as we can, mm -hmm. get the height to get to Chanksbury. Yeah. 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 We'd like a thousand feet, wouldn't we, really, at the end of the yeah. home ridge? Yeah. So you see if you can get us a thousand feet on the end of the home ridge, right. going in a straight line. Just by pulling up, pulling up, pulling up in the surges. We're going to try not to turn. But just make it up in there by pulling up in the surges. Yeah.
Mira, corre. Further that way, he should a bit because he's pushing us into that. Mm -hmm. Right then, they good. Good, 900, right on. Keep going? Yeah, 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 yeah. Defo. We're not going to go around the corner into that bowl. No. Unless we've got a decent bit of height here. Back for a cup of tea, I think. So this will be our big decision point, mate. Yeah, I wouldn't follow every contour like that. Just try to make it a bit more of a straight line. Yep. That's two up. So two up fiddling around, fiddling and farting. This is the big decision point here. How confident do we feel? Do we feel confident enough? Mm, not to... totally. I think should we head back? Oh, no, 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 no. No, keep going. Oh, you mean the decision point at Chancellor Bridge? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're, 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 we're crossing we'll the big here. gap. Okay. We know we'll climb here. We know we'll get around the corner and climb in the next bowl. But in 5k time, we've got to decide if we're going to feel confident enough to cross the crossing through them. Okay. No, no, you're good as you are. No, you're good. We're we'll going to have to do what two ups doing here, and let's turn this for a bit. Yeah, bring the speed back a bit. That's it. It's going to be nice, slow, efficient climb here. Go into nice survival mode, just try to get high now, as high as we can. Definitely not going around the corner yet. a good decision than mine, maybe. Bloody creaky old glider this is.
Drive it for a sec. Yeah, you have to drive it. Can I just have it for a sec? You got, got it, you got it, you got it. Just, uh, we want to climb a bit here. I'll sort of tuck in a bit. I think probably want to just tuck in a little bit more, mate, to the reach. Right. I know you don't want to be too close to it, but you know, as long as you've got plenty of speed. That's where we want to be. slightly critical phase where we haven't really got enough height to go back, haven't got enough height to keep going. So this is uh, Chanctonbury Hill, um, we're scrabbling now to get some height to cross the big gap at Truly. And you're reckoning on 1100? Well, it's in not a matter of that, it's a matter of do we feel confident that later on in the flight we'll have enough height so to get across from truly back to Chanctonbury. Yeah. And if we're struggling like buggery on what should be a good bit of ridge at 800 feet, the answer is no, isn't it? Yeah. At the moment I'm kind of thinking the best option is to get a little bit more height, go back to the home ridge. And chill out for a bit. So I think you probably just need to tuck into the ridge a little bit closer. Mm -hmm. Partly, I think, because I'm scared of this bloody long wingspan on this thing. Yeah. <coughs> but we weren't that low anyway, were we? It's just... Uh... 